and this is our constant class i will create a base string on it, on it and an empty constructor so api.exchange.com slash 2.2 where i uh, get this from the documentations if you scroll up we get that from uh, documentations but i didn't remember from it uh, from where uh, but uh, you can search for google for the api but this is the link this is the constant link okay so uh, we will use this uh, throughout the, the entire course and I, I told you that this is the constant link that we will use it because it, uh, we have declared as a final uh, final string final variable inside the constant uh, um, class okay this is not a big deal I will I gave you the, the link directly okay I need to get through the li the activity life cycle the uh, the call of uh, API. So I will override on start start method. And I will make the call here of retrofit equal m stack overflow dot last active questions i will get the last active questions 20 okay m call dot in queue and call this okay so i'm getting the last 20 questions asked uh, uh, on on the uh, stack overflow website also i will override on stop method Oops. On stop method, if m call does not equal to null, go and cancel that quack. That call cancel, and this is stopping the uh, the call. Okay. I need. If we scroll up, there is an error here. Click Alt plus insert, implement the methods, and we need to implement two methods called on response and on failure. So I clicked on uh, implement and I will add the uh, on response. So on response, I will add a response schema instance from it and I will create if response dot is successful and response schema equal to response dot body does not equal to null we are not getting any error so go and display inside the m questions adapter bind data and display them into the recycler view so response response schema dot get questions get questions and else on failure call or and pass now okay it's very simple i'm making this if and this body first response is successful and response schema body does not equal to null go and get this okay i will scroll down on the on failure 
and fragment sorry on the questions list response schema I will make also a response schema if a response response dot is is successful I will make a response sorry I have missed this it is not if it is uh, fragment before the fragment manager fragment manager will that got get support fragment manager and fragment manager dot begin transaction and we will add server error server error dialog fragment dot new instance we can make it passing null as tag dot commit allowing state loss okay everything should work fine I will check this later on uh, till now we have implementing everything uh, correctly I will check this does not equal to null it is here okay does not equal to null and here server error checking it and we need last thing to configure everything should work fine I have this I will comment it for now because uh, we need it uh, later on and we need this uh, to solve this error I will create a class called server error dialog fragment and this will extend dialog fragment okay and I will make I cut paste it and I will paste the other code okay I will import it in order to save time because as I told you our uh, our aim is to learn dependency injection in this app okay and making clean architecture I will add the strings here you can download the source codes from the resources folder uh, on Udemy so don't worry guys if you missed anything but I am clarifying every single line just copying this and making this as a fast now let's go to the strings values strings and let me paste these three so these are what we need error dialog di title message bottom caption I will close this and everything would work fine so this is our server error dialog fragment okay and making an instance from it scrolling down to see if there is still any error we have also here an error so m question dot position dot get title maybe I have missed so if we go if we click on control it is a um, list of uh, questions so if list of questions 
if we go on questions get m title okay i will remove m title and m id and this will solve the error because i am uh, i am calling get title and not get m title so everything is working fine let me clean the project add the at the manifest the internet permission uses permission and internet and this is for now I will save the project clean it and run it on the emulator And here we go, this is our application. Um, I think it's working fine because it's, we have a little fragment telling us there is an error. I will check the connectivity of uh, my application. And as I told you in the retrofit course, you need always to add network security rules and network security support for the nested uh, links like api.exchange stack.exchange so this is a, st a, a nested uh, and subdomains these subdomains you need to add these security rules for uh, inside our application so for retrofit i need to create a new directory inside the resource file i called xmo sorry this a new new resource new android resource directory and I will name it as xml and resource type would be as xml and called ok and then I will create a new xml resource file and I will call it network sick you ready configuration config okay and in the code i will remove this and pay, paste this one okay so this is the network under a security configuration file you see guys include subdomains equal true and this is the subdomain that we are going to use and i need to add it to the manifest and i will go to the manifest inside the application tag i need to add android network security configuration which is the xml that we have added xml and uh, network xml security configuration xml okay so in this way we are telling a retrofit that our connection to subdomains are well clear another thing that i should uh, mention here in inside the stack overflow api is that i have missed the page it was page i need page size okay so it is page size i hope you configure it and now let's run our application to see if it is working fine and sometimes you need to uninstall the app and uh, reinstall it again uh, on android studio uh, maybe there is a cache or uh, some errors will be cached but till now we have getting our very important application is getting our 20 uh, less than 20 active questions from stack overflow api using retrofit okay guys so this is our application it is uh, it's it's basic primary uh, like uh, design but we are going to uh, improve it and we are going to concentrate on the arch architecture and clean architecture and implementing the dependency injection dagger 2 and see how to think uh, like in a very advanced 
way and making our application clear. So welcome to our course. I hope you rate us five stars on Udemy and support us by subscribing